Well, hello everyone. Uh, it's Kenny Jones. We're back on a doing a little uh, hiking today. Uh, gonna play around with. Uh, gonna go back to the basics here today. Um, don't know what we're gonna find, but that's part of the adventure. I'm uh, just gonna use a, a normal classifier, half inch, and um, a miner's pan. And I got some crevicing tools, stuff like that. Hopefully, we find something of that nature. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's still uh, still some snow. But if you look on the hill. You know, there ain't much snow, so she's definitely leaving, and uh, that's exciting. So, um, I would welcome you to uh, to our little adventure, and let's see how this goes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start this hike off. I'm gonna take you along with me, try to get some video of it. Uh, it's not a too bad hike. It's beautiful back here. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Come on, ghost. <coughs> By the way, if you can see that in front of me, that's my dog. His name's a ghost. Uh, my son named him. That's one of my best friends right there. Very loyal dog. Hi, ghost. Still got a little snow in here, but it's not too bad. There's a landslide right here off the side of this hill. And I always want to kind of check it out, see if there's any gold in it. Boy, look at that tree just, <laughs> just popped right up through it. Ghost, come on. <laughs> Let the tree go. Sorry if the camera's waking, wavy uh, hiking, so. You can see up there, that's uh, where she decided to run down off of. Looks like some pretty good material. Maybe on the way back, we'll uh, check it out. So, anyways, we're going to keep hiking here. If I see anything cool, the next time I stop, we'll pick you guys up. Well, we ended up coming down to the creek. It's still going pretty good, but uh, it's not too bad. You can see it's still muddy. Summertime, this is just a clear, but uh, still got that runoff. But, yeah, she's going. This little spot right here kind of interests me. It's right here on that island. Look on that island, you can see all the rock, river rock right on top. It blew over it. Looks like a pretty good spot. We're gonna keep on. Trucking on. <laughs> There's a ghost hanging out in the water, getting pulled down. It's pretty warm. Pretty warm. But we're definitely uh, getting ahead. And there's a there's a nice corner up here I kind of want to go check out. And uh, anyway, so we're gonna head on and get there. Well, you can see that. Got a deer we just kicked out of the brush up here. Being all alone, that's kind of weird. I think it's a kind of mingle. I'm gonna just show this. I uh, lost the trail. <coughs> Don't really know where she went. I can kind of see it over there. 
I don't know, I just left it off. What happened here? You can see this. Looks like good material, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened here. I don't know if I'm supposed to cross the creek and get back on that side. It's getting pretty steep in here, but, uh, anyways, we're gonna figure it out. It's pretty in here. Still got some snow, not a lot, but she's still got some. Hey, Ghost, you gonna make it? That's uh, his first year out. Really, both of us for hiking, so we're a little out of shape. How, Ghost? <laughs> Good boy. All right, well, we'll catch you the next spot. Whew. Okay, so I'm a little winded. I had to stop and pull some layers off. Starting to sweat a little bit trying to get up this. Definitely don't want that in case end up hopefully we don't have to spend night here but if i do i don't want my clothes wet or to get chilled i really don't know what my dog's doing i think he's really thirsty <laughs> he's heading down but so what ended up happening is this you kind of see the slough where it sloughed off i think that's where the trail was and anyways i can't cross the river because it's too too high and i didn't see any logs across it or anything so yeah <laughs> You had to climb up Butler, so it is what it is, but it is pretty back in here. Got a good view. I'll take that. You can see how far I'm from the top. It's not really too far. I really don't like that, walking across it. I know ghosts don't. He don't like it at all. <sighs> it's pretty in here. You can see some aspens back in there. Kind of want to go explore that, but maybe do that another day. Well, I'm gonna grab grab some water and get to going. Get this pan wet. All right. Okay, so back to my first spot. A little pie channel that comes over. Still got a little bit of water running through it. Uh, if you look down in here, next to this big boulder here. And well, there's some bigger bigger rocks, pebbles. This big rock, I'm gonna, looks like it's in there pretty good. I'm gonna try that. Then you look over here on this rock, and it looked down in there, that's packed pretty good. So, what I'm gonna do is pull these rocks out, uh, get a pan full of that filled up, and see what you got. See my dog over there, he found some nice snow to cool down on. Kind of shaded in here, so kind of feels good. Shades kind of reminded me though, the clocks are ticking, so let's get this. Uh, got my pan there and got my classifier. Oh, get that all set up and get to work in this. I don't know if you guys ever seen these, but those are evil. They're all right here <laughs> trying to get in this spot, but. Anyways, I'm going to get to work.
Pretty rock. Anyway. I'm gonna have to get some gloves on. The water's freezing. Got to get my gloves. That water's freezing cold. Get this up. classified and we'll check it out. using a half inch classifier. Oh look at that. You know, I've never seen a half inch picker. Or I guess you'd call that a nugget. Hey, but you never know if it'll look. Maybe one day it will be there. That is a full pan. So I won't bore you guys with this. We'll uh, go a little bit. Let's keep going and I'll show you what I got in the pan. I have a lot of material as you can see. <laughs> but it'll be alright. We'll get her out. You can really get her fluided. Go to go fall down. Okay, so we'll see the end result in just a minute. So we got her all panned up. Just two little pieces there. Hopefully you can see it. Actually for this area, that's actually a pretty good size for this pick. Uh, not too bad. There's even a little more. We'll take them. Get this in the sniffer bottle and uh, let's get the next one going. That's not too bad. I'll take that. Okay. I think I got you set up so you can be able to see this a little better. Get my gloves back on. That water is cold.
rocks. A few rocks trying to get a nice little crevice right there behind it. But they go together and it's been here so long that it's um, almost feels like a bowl. Um, I don't know if that's good or not, we'll see. Okay, so we got her uh, down to the nitty gritty. I haven't looked through it yet. Kind of want to do that with you guys. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, I got this thing lodged in this. Oh. Sorry about the shakiness. I'm trying to get this thing off the log. I had it jammed in there. But uh, what we'll do is we'll try to see this together. All righty. Okay, over here, hopefully you guys can see. This is a kind of hard doing it one-handed. Everything down there. I've seen a couple pieces when I was looking at. All right, let's see what we can do here. You know what, I can't do this one-handed. We're gonna have to do this. Ooh. I'll come back to you. <laughs> Well, I fanned her out. Yep, nothing. It's okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next spot. Looks like Ghost over there is ready to go. Huh, Ghost? You ready to move on to the next spot, buddy? Get some rest in the old snow? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll catch you guys in a few. We're gonna move up. Uh, Maybe in some sun, it's starting to get cold over here. And uh, let's see what we can do. Sure, it's pretty in here. Oh, and uh, I guess it looks like I'm gonna have to take some trash out of here. It kind of sucks. My bag's not very big, it's pretty packed. But we'll get her removed and uh, get her taken out of here. All right, catch you in a minute. There's a uh, little creek about right there that feeds in there and uh, 
Sure wish I could get over there to it, but uh, this water's just too deep. It's a going. And I'll show you this trail I'm on. I think it's more of a game trail. So we're gonna hike through. I'm almost to that part where had a, a slough in the hillside there. I think that's where we lost our our trail. I really don't I think the trail actually goes across. This is actually a National Forest Service trail. But uh if it is, it surely hasn't been maintained in a long time. So we're gonna try to manipulate ourselves through this. Not too excited about it, but one step at a time. I know my dog's pretty tired. He's ghost. What do you think, buddy? Huh? Just a minute ago, I seen some fresh elk tracks and elk dung. So it's always nice to see that they're here. I haven't seen any predator tracks, which, to be honest with you, I'm kind of surprised. Anymore, they pretty much you find find any big game you tend to find a predator not too far behind uh, those wolves are pretty pretty hungry where you got this snow coming melting the hillsides are starting to starting to wake up these deer elk in here trying to get something to eat they're hungry they had a long winter oh, let's see if we can oh that was close but it is pretty in here. There's a creek. No, it's been... I think the last time I was in here I was maybe six or seven years old. You kind of see the creek now. Try to zoom in. It's right there. That's where I want to be. There's some sun over there. <laughs> but, uh... Can't find a way to come back, so go across anyways. So, Ghost is telling me it's time to go. Ghost, you tell me it's time to go, buddy? <laughs> He's got something on the sensor there. Anyways, we'll catch you in a minute to the next spot. Hopefully, it's sunny. Okay, so we got to this slough here, and it's I guess the earth just gave away. It actually it looks like some pretty good stuff, to be honest with you. Well, last time I climbed up the hill and went around it. But I guess this time we've decided to cross it, so this can be quite interesting. Not my favorite, but as long as it's not frozen, we should be good. I can see quite a material moving from my feet which is good and give me a, a path you know what I just seen the trail over there see it that's the trail I'm not on the trail I wonder how I get to that because that spot right there see where that river turns right there that inside corner looks really good on the other side but I got to figure out a way to get to her so anyways Let's see if we can get across this without falling down to the river. If we do, we do. I'm not too interested in it. I'm sure my pistol won't like it with all the dirt shoved up its muzzle, but looks like Ghost has got it. <laughs> He's a good dog. He sure will follow me. Whoa. That's getting frozen right here. I think I might cut down. I can see some tracks right here. Let's cut down, down a little bit. Ghost. Oh. Trying to side heel. This stuff's kind of frozen. I think you can see I got snow here. That makes it really dangerous. Turns into ice, basically. We can kind of see that spot now. That's really where... God, that looks good right there. That whole corner there looks really good. Let's see if I can't get over there. I don't know how to get there, but. Trying to 
take you guys with me on this one. Hey, we made it. <coughs> okay, we're at our exit. Uh, boy, I bet there's a good fishing hole right there, too. I don't know if they'd be biting right now. Probably hungry, but the uh, water's really dirty. So, we'll see you in a minute. So, anyway, we're just walking here, getting through uh, the main part. I never found anywhere to cross that river. I mean, I could see actually the crossing of the of uh, where that this trail goes to. It's probably five feet deep and pretty swift. So we ain't doing that today. But anyways, I figured I'd take you for guys for a little more hike with me. And uh, you can see this beautiful country. Sorry about that sun glare. I think he knows where we're heading. <laughs> he knows we're heading back to the truck. Sensor's certainly going off on him all the way through here, though. <laughs> He's got to mark his territory, I guess. Well, there's a nice, deep, eroded uh, bar right there. You can see how high that water was. Right through those bro all those trees right there. That's a good spot to check out. I wonder what this is about. Somebody cut a tree. It's right there. I wonder what that was all about. Well, we're going to find something a little closer here. It's like if I go around the corner here, we should be able to find a little bit of sun. If not, we're, gonna, we're both a little sore. <laughs> but we're definitely going to do some more panning. We'll catch the video of that here in a minute. All right, we'll see you soon. Hey, right, we're back. Uh, found a little bit of sun over here. So we're going to check this spot out. We look up in here. We're on the inside corner here, uh, behind this boulder here. The water's pretty high, so I mean, I'm looking to the right. Uh, at least this year hasn't gone up. I don't think it's past the point where <clears throat> it typically run on high, high tide or no high, high water. But uh, behind me here is quite a bit of good stuff. We're gonna check it out and see what's up. This all inside corner here. <coughs> I'm gonna look into here and this big rock here. <coughs> I got this tree here. Oh, I guess it's more of a willow. <coughs> look at in here. It's all moss. So we're gonna try to scoop some of that up. As that's Mother's Nature's. Uh, Sluice box for you right there. We're gonna check it out, see what's up in there. And then we might check behind here all around this rock. But we'll catch you in a minute. Okay, well, I got you back, so I got everything set up. We're gonna do a little panning, see what we can get out of that uh, good stuff right there in front of that, that bush.
I'm talking about. Oh, you can see it. Just moss. So, let's see what you got in. Closer, you can see what I'm doing. Okay, there you can see what I'm doing. rocks we're in that moss there's still some in there but anyways we're gonna pan it out and we'll catch you guys in a minute well not much in the pan say that's her that's it a little flake up there tiny tiny for that little spot but you know if mine was easy everybody would be doing it but that's okay. We're not getting skunk. We got a little bit of gold in the pan. I just can't wait for the weather to turn so we can actually get up to where I know there's some good gold. But this will do. Break some of that cabin fever and get it out. So what I think I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Go see uh, see what Mother Nature might show us on the way there. We might stop. There's a couple spots I've been wanting to check out. That old ghost over there. What do you think, buddy? Huh? Ready to go home? Huh, buddy? Where's the gold at? Ghost, where's the gold? Right there? <laughs> He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. <laughs> oh, anyways. 
We'll catch you guys in a few. We're gonna pack up and I'll go over. But when I get back to the truck, I'll go over uh, what I have in my pack. You guys can all see it. I think there's a few things I'm missing. But, but anyways, <coughs> beautiful day. Sure was nice to get out. Sure is calm. Sure is uh, comforting to hear that sound of a river. Sounds great. Anyways, we'll see you in a few. So on our hike back, I don't know if you can see. There's a skunk. <laughs> he's up on the hillside. I don't really know what he's doing. He's just kind of walking around. I don't really want my dog to get sprayed. It's not necessarily the mother nature I was thinking. But he's looking for something. I don't know what he's eating, but he's all over it right there. But anyways... We're going to try to get out of here and hopefully my dog don't get sprayed. All right. Well, hopefully you guys can see him. We're a little closer now. I've yelled at him, get his attention, but hoping that he'll run off, but he's not. God, he's coming right at us. Hey! Hey! I think he just got an idea that we're here. All right, he's going up in the tree. My dog notices him now. I'm having to hold on to him. I really don't want him getting sprayed. It doesn't seem like that skunk cares. Sorry about, I'm holding on to my dog too, focusing on him. Anyways, we're going to try to get by. I'll let you know if I get sprayed or not. Okay, so none of us got sprayed, which is a phenomenal thing. <laughs> Ghost is uh, on his way walking in front. No deal, no problem. Skunk gets to do what he's doing. We get to go walk by him. And we're all good. Never seen a skunk not care. <laughs> I guess if I was Peppy Le Pew, I would not be too much scared of anything with that smell. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna get back to the truck. Come on, ghost. And uh, I'll go through my bag, show you what I have in there. I think it's been a kind of a building and process. I swear, every time I go, I, I think you need to add something to it. But uh, we're getting about tired of putting anything in the kitchen sink in it because it's getting heavy. Oh, this is too heavy a pack. I don't think it's weighing over 20 pounds, 25, but I really didn't want her to be much more than that. So anyways, I get back to the truck. We'll show you what I have in the, the bag and what I'm bringing with me on this particular pack. And I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I got in my bag. <coughs> I'm sure you guys already seen this. I've been using it. Got a half-inch classifier and a gold pan. I'm just going to leave it on the on the bag. What I need to do is drill a couple holes, and then I can just uh, carabiner it right to these clamps here. Make it nice and easy. Uh, so I'll start up here. I've got my snuffer bottle. Um, still have a little water in it. I trust it to be water sight, so put it in a Ziploc bag. Ziploc bags are great. Uh, if I had a lot of gold into a, a pan, uh, instead of, you know, so I do a clean out. What I can do is fill one of those up, double it up, uh, empty the water out of it, put it back in my bag, and that's a way for me to carry it. Uh, instead of trying to carry a bucket around with all my concentrates in it, that's another way you can do it. I got some crevicing tools. Got a wire brush, uh, got a paintbrush, helps in those cracks. I wish I could find one with a fiberglass. I just haven't found one, but they're not very expensive. Uh, just got a flat blade, that's for those deep little cracks, try to get in there. Uh, a couple little pry bars, of course got a chisel, that's that's definitely a needed item. A uh, little pry bar, it's not very big, but it does the job. And a 
come down here. I got two sets of gloves. These are completely the waterproof. And then I have the, uh, these are insulated for this time of year. I like those. They work great. They're not very expensive. You can buy them in summer or winter. Uh, so one's not insulated, one is. These are insulated. Uh, those are very nice. They hold on to a lot of stuff. You can feel it's really grippy. Those are nice. You gotta have your pick. That thing is very nice. I enjoy that one. And uh, a little shovel. Just have a little shovel here. Uh, these are more kind of safety items for me. I'm, that's what I was saying a little bit ago that uh, I need to start putting some of that in there. I, I I know I need to get a first aid kit, a little one in this. I haven't purchased one yet, but that's going to have to happen. But anyways, these are those uh, stormproof matches. They're very good. You can light them uh, in a dead rain. You've got your striker here. It comes with extra striker too. Uh, they're very good. They burn for 15 seconds, so you should be able to hopefully get a fire started. And this is waterproof, this whole capsule. And then this right here, this is how I can drink. It's up to 100,000 gallons, and it's really easy. I got my water bottle here. That's all I need, just this water bottle. And uh, I'll try to do this one-handed. Oh, I got the lid on there pretty good. Take the cap off. All I gotta do is take this, dump it in the wall in a creek. I don't care where, where it is. And all I have to do is put this thing on top, screws right on top. And there you go. Water purifier. I'm good to go. And uh, it's lightweight. Um, I'm not carrying any water anymore. It gets heavy. This is the way to go. So, and then, uh, probably seen this on the bag it's just something I use for my camera I can take that and post it to a tree or something kind of helps out they're kind of handy but uh, anyways that's what I have <coughs> have in my bag that's what I brought with me today um, so yeah that's that so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna start getting out of here sure it's nice out you can still see we have some snow but oh, thank god spring is on its way i'm ready well uh i'll probably end the video here unless i happen to see some mother nature or something like that on the way home but uh other than that it was a pleasure having you guys along and uh we'll catch you next time well on the way home yep found some deer <laughs> oh, I guess they're going to cross the road. Nice. Yep, off to go. Well, that was nice. All right, we'll catch you later.